start by adding a little bit of glow onto the skin. I'm going to be using the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. So I've already prepped his face. The skin's looking amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of glow while we work on the eyes, just so this soaks in and just gives a really nice, flawless finish. I'm just going to be using the soap brow first. I'm going to be applying this on Tay's brows. And I am, I'm just going to be pushing the brows up so they're really stuck down and that soap really works into the brows. And it'd be fine, guys, that your brows aren't going up. It's a really good tip. Just kind of push it up and you can see immediately you'll start to get that really fluffy effect. For the brows, I'm going to be using Lingering by MAC. And just in little strokes, I want to elongate the brow and just fit in the front. It's quite a really nice natural shape. I'm going to be using my favourite concealer, which I love, which is the Fenty Beauty. So, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep this in. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, it is my favorite concealer. Um, I could you see I've done this side already, so I've applied it on the top and the bottom. You can see immediately it's just really brightened up the eye. So I'm gonna shape the brows a little bit. Those perfect brows, I love. Me too. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is just buff it all the concealer all over the lid. Underneath, just take a little bit of the discoloration underneath. So we have a perfect base. I'm going to be using this Pillow Talk um, palette by Charlotte Tilbury, which everyone talks about, super famous, the whole collection is super famous. Have you heard about it? Probably Pillow not. Talk. You have? Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to be going in with the light pink first. I'm going to be applying it under the rock. <laughs> I'm going to be using the pale pink all over, which is just such a beautiful, kind of like a nude colour. These eyeshadows go on so well as well. Do you own any Charlotte Tilbury? I don't know, but I, since you've been using that um, foundation tint, well, you know, the glowy one. I nah. wanted to get it. I'm still trying to finish my foundation. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I don't really wear makeup too often because of work, but when I do finish it, that's the next one I'm going to get. I'm just going to do a really light wash, as you can see. I'm going to go over with the slightly darker shade. This is called... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce these things. They always come off so badly. But number four. <laughs> Number four, basically. <laughs> so we're going with the slightly darker one. And what I'm going to do is just be buffing it in the corner. Just add a little bit of dirt. Just to really bring out those pinks. I'm just using the same brush actually. Look at me. I'm going to go back with the lighter colour. And run the lighter colour underneath. Followed by the dark colour in the corner. I'm going to be using the eyeshadow fudge. So this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've already applied it on this side, as you can see. I just wanted to make the eyeshadow a little deeper and just create a little bit of a cat eye. So I'm just going to be taking, do you see how it's a little bit thinner brush? It's a lot thinner than the 217. So you can be a little bit more precise. And just in circular motions, I'm going to be buffing it in, but just sticking really close to the lash line. a cold pencil for um, just to run across the lash line. So this is it in brown copper. And just it's a little bit sparkly. I'm just gonna run it along and just bring it out a little bit and look up for me. And I'm also just gonna apply a little bit in the corner. Like so. So I'm gonna go in back in with this palette and I'm gonna be taking the first shade which is the 
primer prints. You got it. I was going to apply that up kind of like halfway across and also just in the tear duct just to really open it up. And then what I'm going to be using is a glitter. And this glitter, I think the application is so much better with your finger. I feel like it picks it up a lot more. This is just going to help to give it a really gorgeous, like a gold reflection on the eye. You can see that it's all really coming together. And look up for me. I'm going to do a little bit just underneath. You just get that really gorgeous golden glow. And I'm going to take the brand new Urban Decay Lash Freak, which I literally just received this morning. So look down for me. I'm going to apply a little bit on your lashes. Just to give them a little bit of a lift. So I applied some Nikki Lash. I did it off camera because Tay has alveol done. So mm -hmm. really, I had to super concentrate and I didn't even click record. Um, but now I'm just going to take the Urban Decay uh, Mascara and I'm going to apply a layer on the bottom just to really even out those lashes. Really clumsy this on the wand. Can I now see that? That product looks mental. Beautiful. And now we're going to move on to the skin and with, um, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder um, Use Boosting Perfect Skin. Is this the one you were talking about that I used on you? I think so. Looks like this? Yes. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to apply it all over the skin. Awesome, this is on. Your skin is so nice. Have you been looking after it? Um, I just actually stopped my skincare. I've just been using bio oil. Really? And you just think it helps so much? Yeah, because I had um, like a rash a few weeks ago. Actually, maybe a month ago now. Um, I had like a red patch. And like Sometimes less is more though, no? Yeah, 100%. Nice. The concealer I'm going to be using is the NARS Creamy Concealer. So I'm going to do this side. So go a little bit underneath. And take it up to temple. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Science lesson two. And as you can see, so where that shape is, I'm just going to blend that kind of conceal it into the eyeshadow. So it kind of all blends together, and you create that beautiful shape. And you can see immediately it just really helps to brighten up that brighten up the face if we're comparing the two. I'm going to be using Laguna, which is a bronzer from NARS. I'm just going to put it on the side. What I'm going to do is just buff it in with this Bobbi Brown brush. I think I've said this before. This is one of my oldest brushes. When I was ever thinking of some nice brushes for their kit, the Bobbi Brown brown ones. <laughs> oh, nice. Have you ever had, oh, a, oh. <laughs> you ever had a Bobbi Brown brush? No, I haven't. <laughs> I don't do my makeup. You do my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I'm using the Huda Beauty um, loose powder and what I'm going to do is just kind of shape out the contour a little bit and just give it a little bit more shape to Tia's face. What I'm going to do is, by using quite a lot of product on my brush, I'm going to be shaping it out right to the mouth. Can you see? This is really going to help to sharpen up the contour. I'm going to do this side too. You're good at turning, well done. <laughs> this cloud is going everywhere. It smells really nice though, isn't it? It's straight for me. Yeah, it does smell nice. Um, Huda Beauty stuff, but it is quite like, overly scented. What I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of the translucent in the middle as well. This really helps to uh, shake out the contour. Just keep up with all the makeup on. And while that powder is just settling in, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury First Love Blusher, which is one of my faves, which just gives a really nice pink blush. I think it just goes beautifully with the Pillow Talk eyes. You can see it just really brings out the pinky tones. And adds a little bit of colour. And just with like a clean big brush, I'm just going to really buff that translucent powder away. 
as you can see, it just really sharpens up that contour and bronzer. Giving you guys harsh cheekbones. <laughs> To finish off the skin, I want to finish this look by using the Supermodern Body by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I'm going to apply a little bit down the centre of the nose. As you can see, it almost just gives a immediate glow and just another dimension to the skin. I think when the skin is super matte, it just looks a little bit flat. I'm going to apply it on those cheekbones. Put a little bit here. Yes, let's make your lips look thick. I'm also going to do this on the other side. Beautiful. Is it? <laughs> oh, to finish um, the look, I'm using the lipstick Nude Kate by Charlotte Tilbury. Applying it. Although this is just an art brush I use, I think that the art brushes are amazing for lips. And then I'll be using the Pretty Talk Lip Liner. Just go around those lips, just overdrawing them very slightly. 